Oh my, you can see that. <laughs> Hi everybody. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Please excuse my terrible looking face right now. I am battling an allergic reaction. As you can see, it's really, really bad on both sides of my face here. Um, it was all down my neck. It's starting to heal up on my neck, but the sides of my face here are not doing as well. It's very hot to the touch. This is what happens when you work in a beauty store and you touch the bare minerals, accidentally forgetting to wash your hands afterwards. So yes, I'm allergic to bare minerals. Everybody hears me talking about it. Not very many people have seen what happens, but this, this is what happens. I get this ugly rash. Usually it's confined to my neck, but apparently I scratched my face or got it on my face mask while I was at work. <laughs> and it is, um, you can sort of see like the bumps. It's so it's partially way up my face on this side as well. You can't really see it, but it's up the side here too and of course we got acne mixed in and I can't use anything on my face right now because of this the only thing I can use on my face right now is Benadryl um, I'm even hesitant to use makeup on my face and it's all over this one ear so like I said I scratched bare minerals I handled it and forgot to wash my hands and this is what I get go me <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> finally got my Ipsy boxes. I'm not real happy that I literally just got them yesterday. Yesterday was the 31st of July. I've had the small one since the beginning of the month. I don't understand why it took them so long to give me the ultimate or the plus. And on top of that, to make matters worse, I'm missing things out of my ultimate, so, uh, add-ons that I paid for, so I'm not real thrilled about that. Um, I also have a bunch of products that I redeemed my points for, have not gotten those, so I had to send out two separate emails to Ipsy support, but usually they're pretty good, just because I've been a customer for so long. They're usually pretty good as long as you're nice. They try to be accommodating. They either give you points or they try to give you the product if they still have it. Because obviously, I paid for it. I mean, they might even refund it if they don't have it. It just depends on what they're doing. But I pretty much like, I would like the product. <laughs> Um, I don't need any more points. I finally redeemed all my points except like 350 of them. Still haven't received my products for that, so yeah, I don't want any more points to redeem for products that I haven't even received yet. So I'm kind of getting a little, little frustrated with Ipsy, but whatever. One month they're great, the next month it's like, who knows? So I'm gonna do the glam bag ultimate in this video so the only because I got my packages so late it had already switched over to the August glam bag so I could not get prices for things normally I will write the prices on it and I know I tell them in the video this time I don't have the prices for anything or the value of my box at all the only product that I do know for sure is this one. This, this will be the third time they've sent me this set of brushes, the LaRousse, La, LaRousse, I think that's how you say it, LaRousse brushes. Now, mind you, these brushes, these are these, this is a set of brushes, it's 100, retails for $154. Are they good, heavy, like, good quality brushes? Yes. Would I pay $154 for them? No. What makes them think that I would pay that for their brushes if I wouldn't even pay that for the IT brushes? Although the LaRousse brushes are better quality <laughs> than the IT cosmetic brushes. Still not going to pay that much for brushes. It's ridiculous. 
Like, are they platinum? Are they made of gold? No. Then explain to me why those brushes are so expensive. There's no reason for them to be ex that expensive. I mean, you can get similar brushes and the real techniques. Sorry. My eyes are itching. I tried this new Tarte mascara, the C one, and it's just like, it's making my eyes itch. I took it off, but there must be like residual on my eye, so yes. <laughs> my skin hates me, my face hates me right now, because everything's having an allergic reaction to everything. So that is one thing I got. Um, I got this, the Ciate London, the Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. Yes, this is like giving your skin a lovely drink of water. So you see these little beads in it? That is, there is watermelon extract in those little beads. And then this is a water-based jelly primer. Oh my gosh, I had this out and tried it on my hands. It smells so good. And when I say it's literally like giving your skin a drink of water. It's like giving your skin a drink of water. So I'm excited to have this because I got the watermelon, the watermelon lip oil that goes with this. Actually, I, I was bad. I went to Sephora and bought all of the lip oils. They're amazing. <laughs> but you know, Ulta doesn't sell Seattle London and that's one of the brands I gotta go to my Sephora and get. Sorry, Ulta. <laughs> Um, oh my god, I swear. I wish they would stop sending me ugly eyeshadow palettes. This is the Sakura and Sage Vegan Eyeshadow and Blush Palette by Seraphine Botanicals. Yeah. More browns. Look at this. I will never wear this, ever. This is not me. This, these are the kind of palettes they keep sending me. And yet, if you look at the options that they had to send me... In the eyeshadow palettes, there are other eyeshadow palettes that I would have used. They've got one that's got like rainbow colors and stuff in it. And I'm like, so why are you sending me the ugly neutrals? But, I mean, it does have some nice stuff in it. Vitamin E, cherry blossom, rosemary extract, oregano, lavender, evening primrose, and sage oil. So it's not like it's bad for you. I would just never wear those colors. I mean... They could, I like the packaging more than I like. I would expect this to, I would expect this to be like purples and greens from the packaging. Like this is the packaging. It's completely misleading as to what's in it. Ugh. Um, this is the eyelash curler that they sent me because they realized that they had all, were already given me a product that I had already had, so they sent me this. Now, these are Mayel, and I know that Mayel are expensive ones, but this feels so cheap. That plastic is so, like, hard. I'm like, really? No offense, Mayel, but Revlon and Ulta brand make better eyelash curler than you do. So, I don't know how much this is, but if they are charging more than uh, $7.99 for it. It ain't worth it. They can keep it for that price. It's not worth that. But that was what was supposed to be, be my compensation for the stupid brushes that they keep sending me. Um, I can't believe they sent me more of this. Why are you sending coffee scrub? This is... I hate coffee scrubs. First of all, it's a waste of perfectly good coffee that I can stick in my my uh, coffee pot and drink. I hate coffee scrubs. And these ones especially, they're like, ooh, it's a coffee scrub. And I'm like, mm-hmm. It also is like sticking sandpaper on my skin. No thanks. There's like no oil or anything. So it's just like straight scented coffee crap. And I'm like, mm. Oh yeah, because they're like 
Ooh, I don't know that I want to use that. Anyway, it's got cassia oil in it. Do y'all know what cassia oil does to your skin when you like, ab you know, abrasively rub something on your skin and then cassia? You talk, want to talk about burning your skin? Because even when you buy cassia essential oil from someone selling it that actually knows what they're talking about when it comes to essential oils will tell you to be careful with cassia oil. It says it has all mentha. Ugh. It says that it has all these oils in it, but like if you feel this, this you can shake this like you're shaking coffee. I'm like, what oil? There's like hardly anything in there, which is probably why it feels like sandpaper on my skin. I hate that brand. I hate those coffee things. They're annoying. I wish they'd stop sending them to me. Um, I got hydrate replenishing hair mask with biotin this is from foxy bay so i actually like i actually like these organ oil coconut extract coarse chestnut um it's got b5 shea butter biotin nettle leaf so perfect for everything that my hair is doing right now it's thing and i'm out of hair mask so I need some hair mask. This horrible humid weather is killing my hair, even with my AG leave-in mask. I'm not a fan of Foxy Bay like products, or I should say styling tools. I'm not a fan of their styling tools. I think they're overpriced. I think Chi is overpriced too, because they suck. Hot tools are better than Chi, and literally a third of the price. Ask me how I really feel about hair tools and Dyson. You people that are paying four and five hundred dollars for freaking Dysons, or paying like two and three hundred dollars for like the T3s or whatever, you're insane. There are better, and there are better styling products for way less. So I don't know what you guys think you're paying for, but you're paying for that stupid name. How about y'all do some research? Because I can't tell you how many times I've had people buy cheese and return them because they suck. And end up going with hot tools anyway. Y'all should have listened to me in the first place. Could have saved you some money. Like, why do you ask me about hot tools if you're going to turn around and... Styling tools if you're going to turn right around and buy a chi and then bring it back and buy the hot tool that I suggested to begin with. Because you're an idiot. And didn't listen to me. But I can't say that to your face. Not allowed. I would lose my job. <laughs> um, we've got some Beauty for Real eye crayons. Which would be great. But as you can see, it's like this neutral champagne color and this ugly brown. Once again, stupid neutral colors that I will never wear. Apparently, Ipsy does not pay very good attention to my color selections as far as eyeshadows go because they are they consistently send me browns. And it says right on my profile that I don't want browns. I like purples, blues, greens. And I'm just like, you're stupid. I want to tell them they're stupid and can't read a profile or something because you suck. When you keep sending me the same colors that I keep telling you I don't like. And I even put that in my in my reviews. Please stop sending me these. I don't like these. I give them bad reviews because I don't like them. But they still send them. Even when they have other colors. Oh look. More Ofra highlighter. Cannot believe they keep sending me Ofra products. Stop sending me Ofra products. I hate them. Hate Ofra. Especially the Ofra Nikki tutorials. I cannot stand her. Everybody's like, oh, she's so great. Screw Nikki tutorials. I hate her. I can't stand her. Her and her little fat cheek pinched eye look. And ugh, her makeup's terrible. Her fashion sense terrible. Her makeup's terrible. And I'm like, ugh, you're not pretty. Ew. Like, I don't know what everybody finds so great about her. 
Like, your products suck, too. So, yeah. More Ofra. More crap that will be going in my go-away bag. Some fragrance. Yay. Fragrance. Um, 100% natural perfume oil. Oral. Oil. <laughs> and quartz infused. Oh, and I love this. And this little tiny on the bottom. Handcrafted in, Lon in Los Angeles. Crystal infused under the full moon. Are y'all freaking pagan or something? <laughs> I believe that about as far as I can throw it. And it... Like, it's not even really crisp. It's, like, little slivers. It looks like they took a crystal and, like, saw how much they could crush it because you can barely see them in there. Look at that. And this perfume is god-awful. When you first put it on, it's okay because the top notes, well, they're, like, really, really sweet. Leave it on for about ten minutes and it is like someone is trying to suffocate you with a goddamn whorehouse floral again. I swear to God. For once, I would just like them to make a fragrance that has no florals in it. Like, not, not a scented, like, body spray or something, but an actual perfume that does not have any flowers in it. This smells like a French whorehouse. Because let's just face it, anymore that's all you can find. Every perfume I smell, it literally smells the same. It's just like you get overwhelmed with all these floral scents that don't even smell good together. And you're just like, I really want to ask the people who are making these perfumes, like, where do you think this smells good? Why, like, y'all must have dead noses if, if you think that smells good or that it's light. Bullshit. It's not light. It's like it's literally, it's like getting suffocated. It's like walking into a French horror house and getting suffocated. It's not pretty. To me, that's a, to me, fragrances like that are about as bad as when someone walks up to me and you can tell that they have used Tide or Gain in their laundry because you're just like, I can smell you across the store. How much fucking Gain did, or Tide did y'all bitches use in your laundry? Because... You walk and by me, and I just get this cloud of nasty detergent smell, and I suffocate. I'm like, are your noses that fucking dead? Because if so, ooh, someone needs to tell you that, because Gain and Tide, y'all smell like French whores too. So that's annoying. It's kind of a reason why I'm single, because I kind of have to tell everybody that I date. You guys can't. Like, I have to ask them, <laughs> every person I date, I have to ask them about their laundry detergent and what they use as far as fragrances or aftershave or deodorant because, like, Tide, Gain, things like Axe. Oh my god, Axe, please. <sighs> Never wear Axe around me. And they get annoyed, and I'm like, well, you knew dating, you knew going into this relationship that I was alerted to everything. You thought I was kidding. You want to date me and have a relationship with me? Um, you better be prepared to completely change like what you wash your clothes in, what you use to bathe in. Oh my God. <sighs> Dial, Dial, Irish Spring, Dove, all of those. Allergic to everything. Uh, men, a lot of that men stuff that I cannot be around. Which is like, I'm so glad that I'm single. I don't have to worry about that because the last person I was with was not happy with me when I told him that they had to change all that. I'm like, if you want to come around me and you want to hug me and kiss me, you're going to have to change that. Not going to happen. So, kind of enjoy the fact that I'm single. I don't have to worry about that. Anywho. Um, oh. Uh, I got the Awake Glow Pill Serum. This is really nice. It didn't have... It didn't have any kind of scent. Um, I think this is like I think Awake is a Korean brand. It's very nice. It's just I'm not sure it's like really anything special. I mean, raspberry ketone, mm, hyaluronic acid. I mean, it's got all that. It's literally like giving your 
your skin a lovely drink of water. But I mean, there's not really anything special about it per se. It has no like special ingredients other than like hyaluronic acid and raspberry ketone. But it, there, it's like at the very end. So it's not, I don't know that it's like doing anything special or specific. I'll still use it because let's face it, I need something that's not while I'm dealing with this breakout here one of the things I'm really having to watch is I can't necessarily do my skincare routine so it's making it very hard because everything like acid wise and everything is irritating to this so I'm thinking that this um, might be gentle on it this might be the one serum that I could use so I'll try it and see well I'll patch test it on I'll patch test it on a part on my neck and if not but I'm still gonna keep it and use it mm -hmm. oh dear um we I have some green tea eye gel patches these are from the J June cosmetics these I will use I love J June <laughs> I get a lot of their face masks so I'm really excited to try their eye gels. One can never have too many eye gels. As you can see, you see these dark circles? <laughs> they need all the help they can get. <laughs> uh, I got the Avet Fresh Clean Coconut Mild Foam Cleanser. I actually have the cream or the serum to this. I got it in one of the June boxes. I think yes one of the June boxes so now I have the cleanser to match the, the cream or serum or whatever it is I have so this actually smells good it's like coconut yo it's got Hawaiian coconut water in it yep it's also like giving your skin a nice drink of water my like I said my skin needs all the help it can get right now I could actually use this on my skin right now right now the only cleanser that I have that I can use that isn't like vitamin C or brightening or abrasive right now is my alginist foaming cleanser so that's the only thing I have that I can use but now I have this and I can switch it up so I can use the coconut which will hydrate my skin because like I said I'm having a really hard time trying to do a skincare routine with this um huh, as you can see I got some more Delectable, the Butter Balm Hand Cream, the Triple Citrus Blend. This stuff is amazing. It smells great. It smells like sugared citrus, but I love it. This is my hand cream. I now have, this makes three, four, if you count the one in my purse. We can all tell what hand cream I love so much. <laughs> like I said, in light of having to use all this hand sanitizer, my hands need all the help they can get. And of course, my favorite little guy, they sent me the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. <laughs> they sent me some more. I have like six of these, right? Six of these little travel size guys right now. I really need to, <laughs> to use this. I could probably use this because this is unscented and it's moisturized, it's hydrated. So I could, this is, I didn't even think about that. This is probably another moisturizer that I could use on my face right now that would moisturize it but wouldn't irritate this while it's healing um oh and of course i did get more of those pink milk mask that i mentioned in the other video but i am going to give those away because obviously i did not like them but i ordered a set with every box unfortunately I should, have tr I should have only bought one and tried, but I did get with this box the Intense Hydrating, the Spirulina Mask, I, so I got these with this box as well. They're amazing. Love, like I said, love these bags, love the colors of them, don't like the material because it feels like those cheap rubbery plastic pencil cases that I used to have in elementary school. 
I don't <laughs> like these. I, no, I like the bag. I just don't like the material. I can't. I, no. No, no, no. And it's cute even. I like it. It's cute because it's got the little airplane thing. Like I said, they're super cute. I just won't use them because I don't like the material. It feels so cheap. And I can't believe those that these bags. This bag is like an $18 value. Really? Because this feels cheap. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. All right. Take a break. And then off to the plus box. Oh, yes. The product that I was missing in my ultimate was my Hey Honey moisturizer. So that's what I was missing. I didn't even have to totally forgot to say what was missing. That was actually an add-on. It was one product that I really did want to try because I like Hey Honey products. But once again, it's another one of those brands that Ulta carries that I like, but not at the location that I work at, unfortunately. I wish our location would get some of these skincare brands. Some of these ones, because I could sell the crap out of them. Belief, Sunday Riley, um, you know, the Hey Honey. I could sell the hand, the Skin and Co. Roma. I use that as well. I like that is what I use to remove my eye makeup remover. I so wish we sold any of those products, any of those skincare lines at our location because I could sell the crap out of those. I'll be like, oh, here you go. 